What is going on YouTube today? I got a brand new video for y'all. It's our friend title. Today I'm going to be polishing up these wheels right here. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt stuck onto it. And just, it's not shiny anymore. So what we're going to be using is GSA Detail Supply products here. We have the wooden chrome. And then we have their green stuff. The green stuff is basically first going to be used to just wipe off all the dirt and everything. Just get everything loosened up. And then the wooden chrome is going to be after the wheels actually dry. And then that's going to be actually be like the actual polish to make the shine come back out of the tire. Make it all look good again. So let's get right into it. So let me show you guys a little closer of how dirty these tires actually are. Look at that. How dirty they are. Just all that dirt just caked on after all the years of just sitting. Not being driven. It just doesn't look shiny anymore. All the water spots on it. Just everything needs to be looking a little bit better than how it is. Of course we're not going to get 100% like factory result. So first we're going to go ahead and do just spray some hose water on it. To loosen up all that dirt. So yeah let's get right into it. Alright guys, so now that we loosened up a lot of that dirt with the hose water, we're going to go ahead and spray some of the green stuff, GSA Diesel Supply Cleaner, and then we're going to agitate that, and then we're going to add some Iron Man, which we're going to show you guys what that does right now. So yeah, let's get right to it. So here I have the GSA Diesel Supply Green Stuff, and the spray bottle diluted with water, and I'm going to go ahead and spray it on and agitate it with a detailing brush. Now these tires are already really scratched, so when we finish, they are probably going to look pretty scratched because I already did this to the back tires. So it's not actually due to the detail brush, it's just due to the amount of dirt and all the stuff that these tires have actually been through because like I said, these things are really, really old and haven't really been treated too good. So this is why we're doing this here, to try to make them look a little bit better than before we're just going to agitate the whole wheel and then we're going to go ahead and get on these pokes here there's some in there just when you see all that dirt just coming out you can see how juice and juice supply made this wheel cleaner makes it really easy to just agitate and just literally just comes off super easily doesn't even take that much time i'm just taking a lot of time here just because there's a lot of little curves and just edges to all these so that's why it makes it a little bit harder and then now we're also going to spray some degreasinator here which is basically a degreaser from gsa deal supply and it's diluted pretty good because you don't want it straight from concentrate it could do some damage so just go ahead and just spray some on I'm also going to use this pretty stiff brush here to just agitate the tire here because it also has dirt on it. We don't want none of that. So Iron Man is also from GSA Diesel Supply and what it is is basically just a iron remover to, to take all the iron off of the actual wheel here so we're just going to spray it and it does have a really strong kind of really nasty smell so just spray it on and just back up and just let it sit for a bit let it do its job now the iron man you also don't need to dilute it so just straight concentrate iron man and just let it sit there and then after a couple seconds just go ahead and just wash everything off so now what i'm gonna go ahead and do is just dry off the whole tire here to take off all that water to prepare for the wooden chrome polish to make it shine a little bit more because right now it kind of looks does look shiny but after i dry i'm going to show you guys just how it actually looks with all the water spots and everything from all the years so yeah let's get to it all right guys so i went ahead and dried it so you guys can see just how many water spots are still left there look at those water spots that are still left. So what one chrome is gonna go ahead and do is just remove all the water spots to make the shine come back again. But we're gonna go ahead and make it look right with 
GSA deal supply when in Chrome. If you guys would like to pick some up, make sure to use my code JMDetailing and go to the first link down in the description below to go to the website and pick yourself up some of these products. Just get right into it and start using the, the GSA deal supply and I'll show you guys how to use it and how to make these things look good again. All right guys, so the when in Chrome is actually a Chrome and fine metal polish it produces a high shining on glass metals cuts polishes and seals safely without any harsh abrasives and it removes the water spots which is really good about this because what this tire has is a lot of water spots all that's not actually water it's actually those water spots that have been collecting there for years and years just haven't been cleaned off or anything like that i'm going to use a chemical guys torque random orbital polisher with a white hex foam pad also from chemical guys and it's pretty soft it's not abrasive or nothing like that it's just to spread around the wet and chrome in an efficient way and to make things a lot easier and faster all right guys so what i'm going to go ahead and do is open up the wet and chrome make sure to shake it up before two and then put about four little dots on the pad close it back up and then i like to spray some chemical guys cleaner which is like basically also a lubricant just onto the pad, just on two sprays. First, I'm gonna go ahead and polish up the face of the actual rim, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the sides and all this. So, what you're gonna go ahead and do is just tap it across the whole face of the rim. And you wanna start off with a pretty low lumber, so I'm gonna start off at like three, and I'm just gonna go ahead around and just spread it around, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna boost up the numbers so it spins a little bit faster. We're just gonna go ahead and do that across the whole wheel, and then to shine it all up. Alright, so now that it's all spread out, I'm going to go ahead and boost it up, and then I'm going to go ahead and just do the same thing again, just to make sure the wash spots are removed. So now that we're done, we're just gonna go ahead and just wipe it off with the microfiber towel. Now, already we can start seeing how good the rims are looking. Now, due to the fact that the polisher actually couldn't get into these hard to reach spots like back here, you are gonna have to put some on a microfiber towel and do the same process as the polisher, but this time with your hand just to reach all those hard to reach places. And the good thing about the Wen and Chrome from GSA Detail Supply is that they make it super easy to just put it on your microfiber towel and just wipe it off. And then just agitate it with your hand and wipe it back off. And to be honest, it doesn't even take that much time. So you're saving time. And like I've said in multiple videos, you save time, you're saving money because your time is always money. So guys, a close up here of how it looks like after that with just one pass. Look how shiny it looks. Nice and shiny. And like I said, the water spots back here, the machine actually wasn't able to get to, so we we're gonna just gonna go ahead and put some on a microfiber towel and do that with your hand. But just look at that difference. How it was before to how it is now. Super, super good results. That's how it was before. And look at it now. Extremely good results. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some on microfiber towel and then finish off the rest of the wheel. To do an actual polishing with just a microfiber towel, all you gotta do is just take a clean microfiber towel, take your wet and chrome, open it up, put some on it, like that, close it back up, and then find what area you're gonna be doing. Some things, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here real quick to show you guys. So once you have it on your microfiber towel, just go ahead and just flip it around. Just go back and forth. Apply a pretty good amount of pressure too. Make 
you can see all that stuff just coming off. And then just go ahead and wipe it off. And all this stuff right here is already all etched in, so you're really not going to be taking that off. You're just basically just polishing it, taking off all the water spots. So look at that. Just in a matter of seconds, that was real time. I'm not going to speed that up or nothing. Just how fast you can get the results with the GSA Dew Supply when in Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and just time lapse through the rest of the whole thing and just finish it all off in time lapse. And then to finish it all off, we're just going to use some GSAG to supply Nutty Bear UV dressing to dress the tires here to make it all look nice and good. Just spray some on the towel here. I'm just going to wipe it on the tires. All right, so here we have the final product. Look at that. From how they were before to now, amazing super stunning results look at that look how reflective that is all from this thing right here gsa detail supply one in chrome and also of course their green stuff to clean the tire and the iron man and all that other stuff if you guys would like to pick some up make sure you use my code jm detailing to get five percent off your order first link down in the description below all right guys so that is actually going to conclude the video there basically like a review on how to use their winning chrome how good of a job it actually does to clean up chrome and just shiny things and to remove all those water spots you can also use this on glass and put that video right there amazing product i'm telling you guys you guys if you guys are car enthusiasts or a detailer yourself pick some of the stuff up this stuff is amazing literally one of the best things i have in my detailing stuff so that's gonna conclude the video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys would like to pick some up first link down in the description below just subscribing and liking if you enjoyed the video i'm gonna be posting more reviews and unboxing stuff like that so yeah this concludes the video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one